Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect by Shem Rakakwadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp. Now, when you look, a few people reported this. Uh, this is RT. NATO website calls for nuclear war preparation. I Meaning this is their actual uh, NATO website. NATO.org or whatever. It says, uh, and the person who wrote the article was uh, Gregory Weaver. It says NATO has published an article by a retired American defense official. So this proves which calls for the bloc to fight and win a limited nuclear war against Russia. There's no such thing as a limited nuclear war. All right. And they're putting the spirit out there because they know there's going to be a world a World War Three. There's going to be a World War Three. Should the U.S. and China clash over Taiwan, an author claims that a full-scale war in Europe would likely follow. Uh, so whatever's going to happen first, it's going to happen first. Uh, he's a uh, linking that to Taiwan and China. The point is that the spirit of the third woe is out there. Let's go down to the. Says speaking at the UN General Assembly in New York last month, Russian Foreign Minister Sergov. Well, let's go up here. To counter this, he recommends that NATO offer a more deep precision strike capabilities to Europe from several modern armored divisions in the Baltic states and Eastern Europe and press European members to provide more conventional capability while the U.S. sends them tactical nuclear weapons. All right, so the spirit of war is in the air and NATO allowed this to be published. So they, they, want, they want that spirit of fear to be out there. They're not even hiding it. Alright, they could have kept that to themselves. This is the website. Uh, you click here, article, and this will bring up NATO.int. Click there. Go to NATO.int. That's the uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Uh, this is their webpage. Alright. And it says, the urgent imperative to maintain NATO's nuclear deterrence is Gregory Weaver. So, uh, September 29th, 2023, a few days ago, they allowed this article to be written on their page. All right. It says, the dismal performance. Oh, no, Daniel's talking shit there. All right. The Russian nuclear use, deterrence of Russian nuclear use in a future conflict is therefore no longer a high priority. This is a dangerous fallacy. So he's saying there's going to be no chance of nuclear war with Russia. He's saying that the, the West believes that. That's a dangerous fallacy. It fails to take into account the relevant lessons learned from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So... They, they're telling you that's the spirit of world World War Three, the third woe. All right, let's go to uh, Habakkuk right here. It says, and this proves that the the beast, which is the European nations and the United States, they make up the beast. What well, America is the whore that rides on the sits on the beast. All right. But together they operate uh, as beasts. It says, uh, yeah, also because he trans this Habakkuk two one five. He, yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, meaning transgression sins. All right, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth into him all nations and heapeth to him all peoples. Now I looked up neither keepeth at home five fifteen five one one five. It means to uh, to rest at home. So la 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 uh, noa. So he does not rest at home. He's go he goes out and 
you know, conquers and prepares you know, lands to absorb their resources. Uh, yeah. it says La La Ya Noah, not resting at home. All right. Neither keep it at home. So that's the website. Third woe. The scriptures speak about a third woe. Third woe. It's Revelation eleven and fourteen. The second woe was passed. That's World War World War Two. And the third woe cometh quickly. Look up woe. It's an exclamation of grief. Right here. It's calling it out. A sudden cry, anger, expressing, expressing grief. All right, and that great that grief is nuclear destruction, war, which is going to uh, result in millions of people dead, and then the total annihilation of the numerica Babylon, the third woe. That's going to be the end result. All right. It says, uh, it says, in it, Weaver argued that counter to Moscow's long-standing nuclear doctrine, Russia may use tactical nuclear weapons either to stave off a battlefield defeat or bring about a swift victory to a conventional conflict such as in the Ukraine. All right. So that spirit of war is definitely there. And it's coming from, coming from NATO, coming from the beast. All right. Notice that uh, all the, say, the, the talking and rhetoric is about using nuclear weapons. Not all of it. I believe, I believe, uh, I don't know if uh, Russia mentioned that they were going to use nuclear weapons. I, I believe they mentioned that they were not going to use it, if I'm not mistaken. They were not going to use it. That was, I believe that's Russia's stance. But the West stance is that they believe they are going to use it and they need to prepare just in case they do use it. And there's no such thing as a limited nuclear uh, engagement or uh, war. If they, if one person uses nuclear weapons, one side uses nuclear weapons, they're all going to use their nuclear weapons. All right. Let's go back to Revelation. It says, uh, this is nuclear war, it says, Revelation eleven thirteen, and it, and the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were frightened, and gave glory to the power of heaven. All right, that's a, a total annihilation of America. All right. And before that, it says in the 12th verse that the elect are going to be ascend. All right. And the elect are going to be a free. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended to up to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. And that's when the elect are going to be in the air looking down. All right. At the, the total annihilation of Babylon, America. All right. Um. And there, in an article, he's saying, uh, "Well, because NATO's not going to interfere in Ukraine." All right, it says a uh, fourth. Uh, if Russia's leadership were to assume that NATO's unwillingness unwill to intervene militarily in Ukraine is a result of its prepared nuclear threats, it's like it. it is a result of its repeated nuclear threats. Russia will draw the wrong lesson regarding NATO's uh, will to fight in the face of such nuclear threats in a conflict with the alliance. The misrepresentation could 
convince Russia that uh, coercive coercive nuclear threats or use will split the alliance in a future crisis or conflict with acceptable risk that NATO will not respond in a way that decisively worsens Russia's position. Nuclear threats or use will split the alliance in the future crisis. All right. And yeah, that's another thing. NATO says all our allies have turned against thee. It's the Obad book of Obadiah. Them that eat thy bread have laid, laid a wound under thee. All right. Russia that coercive nuclear threats or use will split the alliance in the future. In a future crisis, misperception could convince Russia that coercive nuclear threats or use will split the alliance in a future crisis. All right. So this is being NATO's actually talking about this. What well, is guy that uh, wrote the article, and they know. All right, they know that the eventually those uh, the beast is going to turn against the whore. All right, they're not going to operate as one, and those European allies are going to use their nuclear fire and they're going to destroy, totally destroy Babylon America. What was that? Is that Revelation 17? Let's find that real quick. Eat her flesh and burn it with fire. Let's, let's find that. The doom of Babylon. Alright. So you got the beast together. All right. It's of the eighth, which is of uh, Britain. Uh, it says, and the ten horns which I saw are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as of yet, but receive power one hour, one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength into the beast. All right. I mean, they form that that uh, NATO. All right. And America is the uh, the head, the unofficial head of the beast, and this she's the whore that sitteth. All right. Let me go down to the six, fifteenth verse. Well, sixteenth verse, Revelation seventeen sixteen. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. All right, the whore is Babylon, America, and shall make and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire it says uh, deserted of people and in a state of bleak and dismal emptiness it is going to be totally torched totally annihilated Amer Babylon America All right. so they're telling you what's going to happen before it happens All right, so Psalms Psalm 6-4 Right. Psalm 64 and 8 So they shall make their own tongue To fall upon themselves All that see them shall flee away Psalm 64 and 8 All right. So we know eventually The, uh, the, uh, the ten horns And every other ally they got around the world Is going to make her desolate and naked and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That's nuclear fire. Same thing I read in Habakkuk. All right. So. That's a shameful spewing. Uh. Habakkuk 2 and 6 Shall not all these take up a parable against him And a taunting proverb against him And say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his Woe means destruction exclamation of grief And that laden from himself with thick clay Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee And awake that shall vex thee And thou shalt be for booties unto them because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and all 
that dwell therein. All right, that proves that Great Babylon is a city. All right, and that America is a city. It's known as a city. All right, in the scriptures. All right, how have the oppressor ceased it? All right. That goes back to uh, Isaiah 14 also. All right. So I think you get the point. All right. Hope you can see that. Let me blow it up a little bit so you can see that. All right. The misrepresentation could convince Russia that coercive nuclear threats or use will split the alliance in a future crisis. All right. Now, NATO, the, this, uh, the writer that wrote this article for NATO, uh, G Gregory Weaver, is talking about it. He knows, he's an insider, that eventually they believe that the uh, Europeans are going to turn against them, the Ten Horns. All right. He wrote an article about it. So they're telling you what's going to happen. So that's why they're they building different uh, things in space, which I believe they're, uh, what they're showing us about the space station is not really, uh, happening they uh they're doing they put the the movie magic so to speak in front of us and they the secret experiments and the preparation they're doing behind the scenes that they're, they're not going to let us see and what we see on those no youtube videos and on their, on their website is a front for what they're really doing all right so that alliance is going to be broken up and even <laughs> nato knows that all right and here's some more uh evidence warsaw will gradually phase out i, I spoke about this before there's been other, other articles before. Warsaw will gradually phase out assistance to Ukraine. Ukrainian refugees starting from the first quarter of 2024. All right. All right, 20. Today's the uh, 5th, right? Yeah, Thursday, October 5th. All right. October 20th, they were saying signals it will stop aid for Ukrainian refugees in 2024. And 20 hours ago... Polish government representative assistance to Ukraine refugees uh, will, will gradually phase out. All right. So again, they're, they're, they're they are playing a little sick game, you know, you know, acting like they're uh, angry at each other. What they they really are, because the prophecy does say that they're going to split. Like, but they're all going to agree on that implant. All right. They're all going to agree on the implant. So yeah, they. Economy, uh, economy is suffering, so they're going to, you know, ease off you uh, supplying Ukraine with uh, assistance. All right, they're stepping away in that. They're still getting the oil. The uh, different countries in Europe are still getting some imports from from Russia. All right, that's against the will of America, the will of uh, Ukraine. So they're not together. But then eventually, they're all going to whoever has that nuclear capability, mainly Russia. They're going to totally annihilate Babylon, America. Let's get let's end it with uh, Obadiah. All right, it links directly up with Revelation 17 and 16. It says O B D. It says um, Obadiah 1 and 7. It says all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. All right, meaning in war you got no place to go. All right, because when a nuclear, that nuclear fire comes over here, you can't escape. Now you've been chased to the to, your, to the border, fought down to the last man. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. All right, when would they use the uh, the dollar to trade in oil? the world's reserve currency the oil reserve currency all right so those european allies are going to turn against babylon america shall i not in that day say if yahweh even destroy the wise men out of edom and understanding out of the mount of esau all right so uh, if these came to thee if robbers by night how art thou cut off all right would they not have stolen until they had enough if grape gatherers came to thee, would they not glean some grapes? Meaning the, the whole amount of uh, Babylon America is going to be completely erased. All right. And furthermore, all of Esau's dominion on earth is going to be completely erased. 
all his countries in his power hold in Europe and Russia and America and Australia is going to be totally erased. Only America is going to be erased by nuclear fire. All right. And the rest of the different uh, strongholds that Esau holds. Esau is the, he calls himself the uh, Caucasian or white, and right, which is biblical nationality is Esau. All those strong, those uh, governments are going to be destroyed. They're going to be wiped off. They're going to wipe, wiped off too. The chariots are going to come down. The elect are going to come down and totally erase those countries and lands and islands that Esau controls. I mean, he's going to take the people out and their governments and their buildings and technology is going to be going to be completely uh, destroyed. All right. And it's going to be a new government is going to be set up in those lands all right? under Yahweh Shai. All right? But America, Babylon is going to be completely erased by nuclear fire. All right. As it says here. All right. It gives you a. Uh, an analogy of a field being totally uh, gleaned of the crops, all right? Meaning the people are going to be con to totally wiped away, and everything going to be completely wiped away, all right? Out of uh, America, Babylon, and the rest of the Edomites are they're uh, going into slavery, and we're going to take uh, control of those lands, all right? And destroy all their uh, technology <laughs> and uh, pollution. All right, because the earth is going to be renewed. All right, so all uh, Esau's power is going to be uh, transferred. Well, it's going to be destroyed, and uh, the Israelites are going to rule under Yahweh Shai and all of Esau's inhabited lands. All right, so hope you edify. Shalom.